and you're welcome to the uh, AM or medium wave tuning of the QFX J21U receiver. Um, so this is my brand new boombox style radio with cassette and MP3 player. Um, on medium wave, the radio is actually not bad at all. Um, it is sensitive enough to bring in all the faraway stations. Uh, one of the stations that I test, now we are in the daytime, is uh, CFRA. Join the fray. Dan Delmar is 580. This is in Ottawa. In Ottawa is like 115 uh, kilometers away, okay. something like that. I'm, I'm not too far from the, the, the provincial uh, border, and, and Quebec's probably a, a good stone, th stone throw away. But you're right there, you're immersed in it. As an Anglo, uh, you know, there are a lot of issues with respect to Quebec's place in, in, uh, in, in the Confederation. There you are, you're immersed in it, and you're in Montreal. And so, so uh, you hear that it does receive it well. It has a ferret rod inside, so it's very directional of a receiver, like uh, most medium wave radios. And uh, on medium wave, it receives well what it does. And last night, actually, by tuning around the medium wave band, I was tuning around all those American stations coming in in the evening, so uh, via Skywave. So um, really, really is nice. Just by going out and getting Obamacare, my premium goes to nine, over $900. This one is um, a station in the, uh, I believe it's Plattsburgh, New York. You know, and just across the border of the United States. How is that affordable? It isn't. And I, I'll tell you what burns me, but here's the like an eight-day-old soda. The Canucks beat this the This is Jets. a local uh, sports station on 690 kilohertz. Tonight, Tony, so, we, uh, medium wave is really good. French traffic station on 730. This is a religious station that's on 760 kilohertz. On your cell, star talk, star 8255. If you would like to win... CJ8800, local English talk station, very popular with the English community here. Uh, let's see here, who do we have on the line? This is a, a 1040 country station music. The so, oh, Wild is a uh, local ethnic station. Fourteen ten, which is our uh, local French Haitian uh, community station. This is a uh, Arabic language station. This is 1570 kilohertz from Laval, which is maybe uh, 20, 30 kilometers away. And uh, it doesn't have the extended AM band, but this is just barely audible, the uh, Jewish community station on 1650. So, uh, but it does not have the extended AM band. Uh, maybe that's one little negative side to this radio. Um, for example here, if I would like to listen to Concordia University on 1690, it's impossible, the radio doesn't go up to there. And that's a little awkward because I don't really see many radios now that don't have the extended AM band, so it kind of makes me wonder if they haven't used maybe an old radio chip that just has the regular medium wave band from many years ago. And that would explain part of the reason why this radio with so many bells and whistles costs so little. Um, on the uh, website of the company, I believe the um, retail price that they uh, talk about is 59 bucks, but uh, most places where I've seen it, uh, it's about $25, so uh, kind of half of the price. But for the price, it's amazing and I mean for I would actually uh, check and use this radio for a uh, 
and you get hit from behind. For a little DXing on medium wave, not serious DXing, but listening to long distance sky wave stations in the evening, and uh, I'll actually do a band scan uh, later today in the evening to show you how um, these stations come in actually. So, um, good AM reception, medium wave is not bad, but don't forget, no extended AM band. So if your favorite station is above 1610 kilohertz, you're out of luck uh, with this radio. So that was the tuning, daytime tuning of uh, medium wave. I'll do another video where I'll tune in the evening and um, show you how well it receives medium wave via sky wave actually. Uh, what's interesting, one little word here, is that this radio has a uh, power cord to plug into the uh, power outlet and the first thing that I usually do is not plug radios in the wall socket when I use them on the shortwave or medium wave because it usually brings in a lot of interference and I'm a little surprised on this one because um, basically the radio has a, a kind of a very cheap switching power supply for conversion of electricity and it doesn't buzz it doesn't make noise on um, shortwave, it doesn't make noise on medium wave, and actually the only thing that makes noise on medium wave is if you want to record. The motor actually makes that electric interference. So on weak stations, you'll have to, uh, you know, not use the uh, tape recorder. That could be a little annoying. But I haven't seen that effect on shortwave though. So if it's to record shortwave stations on tape, uh, it doesn't do that noise on shortwave. So that was the daytime tuning of the medium wave AM band on the QFX J21U. Hope you enjoyed the videos. 73.